paper. Write down the things you're going to do when you get out of here. So when he left, I took out a piece of paper and I started writing down a few things. I said, when I get out of prison, I said, I want to I wanna buy a house. I want a, I want a car. I want a wife. I want a family. So I want a car that doesn't backfire, right? You guys know what you mean by y'all probably know what a car backfire is, right? <laughs> I said I want a car that doesn't backfire. The last thing I wrote on that list, I said I want a Persian cat. Right? I don't know why I thought wealthy people own Persian cats. <laughs> 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 I said, when I get out of prison, man, I'm gonna get paid, I'm gonna get I'm gonna become wealthy, and I'm gonna buy me one of those Persian cats. There's a rapper, I forget his name, big old fat rapper. Yeah, not Biggie Small. It's a, little, a lot younger than Biggie Small, but Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Oh. <laughs> there he is. There he is. But he was on the cover of some magazine and had naked holding the Persian cat. Ruined my image. Ruined it, right? But here's what I here's here's what happened. I wrote that list and I would look at it every single day. I would just repeat it over and over to myself. But when you guys decided, when Mr. Lyles told me, when he said, you know, what do you want to do when you get out of here? And I wrote that list. It was important that, that I was specific. I, it wasn't enough for me to say, I want to get out of prison. It's not enough. Because then what? What's going to happen when I get out of prison? Now, now, now i got to come up with a new strategy. i got to come up with a new plan. So what I'm saying to you is, is it's okay that right now you're like, well, you know, I want to go to college. But eventually, you got to, before you leave here, I would encourage each of you to start writing things down. I would encourage you to get a little bit more specific in what you want. Because if you don't write that list, someone else can write it for you. Mm. Then you live in somebody else's dream or somebody else's nightmare. Right? I'm saying get very specific in the things that you want. Now, I'm not telling you to keep a diet. I'm the only one. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do. I want you, you're going to be my shooter, okay? You're going to be my basket. So go ahead and make a hoop. Go ahead and turn the face from the back up. Can you make it from there? Nope. Oh, you like, yeah. I'm not shooting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead and shoot. Ooh, yeah. How many points is that? Two. Two. Y'all act like y'all played basketball before. He said, okay, it's a three-pointer. It's a free throw. All right. Now, what's the goal? The main basket. The goal is to make the basket, right? To get it in the hoop, right? What's the goal of soccer? Get, get, in, get in the goal, right? What about what's football? Get, it, get the ball past the goal line, right? Oh, go ahead and hold that. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to do. Close your eyes. Is it closed? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and shoot it. Don't open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Brick. You think you made it? Yeah. You think you made it? I did. Go ahead and open your eyes. Brick. <laughs> did you make it? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the did he make it? No. Was he even close? No. Why didn't you make it? Airball. Because I didn't see it. You couldn't see your goal. Right? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and open your eyes. You can't see anything or you can't hit the goals you can't see. Anything, you can't hit the goals you can't see. So I'm about to be out of here, but I want you to remember that. Write your goals down. Create a vision. 